Um, <laughs> you are the master at segueing things. Okay. Just want the whole audience to know. I did not tell Brett that I had these like questions in mind. Mm-hmm. Segwayed very well in the first, and segwayed very well here. This is just a brief thing. Okay. This is more of like a, a easier going conversation I wanted to have with you. Yep. Overabundance of content. Yeah. And we kind of talked about this earlier. Uh, on my Xbox right now, I have Disney Plus, Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus, Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, uh, all these things. I would love to know your opinion. So now we're not talking about content creators as content consumers. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> um, what, what do you think? A quality versus quantity is just such a thing I think about all the time because there is just so much shit yeah. out there right now. And so I know you do a Marvel podcast. Yep. Myself, I'm also a Marvel fan. Um, the Marvel release schedule yeah. is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. I love Marvel. How is any normal person expected to be able to ingest all of that content? It, 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 it's ridiculous. No, I get it. I probably will. Yeah. But I can complain about it. I mean, my fiance is going to complain about mm-hmm. it because I'm going to disappear like, you know, watch Marvel, baby. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's just so. And it, ah, oh, tell me what you think. I just tell me what you think. Yeah, it, it's definitely a lot, and um, that's something we've talked about, obviously, or not obviously, but a lot over on the Marvel Plus podcast. You should go subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, we're coming back on June thirteenth to talk about Loki. Um, so Ooh. we, yeah, we talk about that a lot because the whole show is <clears throat> like I'll go through the whole plot of the show or what happened. My thoughts, because I'll take notes as I'm watching it too, my thoughts of like, oh, this is this, this is this, this person's doing this, blah, blah, blah. We'll go through that whole thing, and then we'll go through theories afterwards. The more we get, with Marvel specifically, the more I feel like Charlie Day in front of that board (laughs) with all of the strings, you know? Like, I can't imagine. Now, I've never been like, super into comics like i i love the 90s spider-man and the 90s x-men like i have peripheral knowledge i guess you could say like i've delved into it a little bit but yeah i've never been like oh issue one of gambit we're fucking you know (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) Um, so like i feel i have a better understanding with the peripheral knowledge of like oh this is so and so who's connected to this person and this but i cannot imagine as a general audience, how the fuck anyone is keeping this together? We just had a 21 movie saga with a man snapping his fingers. And now you want to add all these shows and all this other stuff along with the movies. Like, I I mean, that's my job to try and explain. Okay, so this is somebody, this is somebody. But man, that's got to hurt your brain. And my girlfriend has not seen the Marvel movies. She has no interest. She wants to How try. How are you two in a relationship? Good question. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's only what's okay, it's only twenty one movies, Brad. What is that? Come on. <laughs> like you know, forty two hours worth of content. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so we've talked about watching them because I honestly want to do a rewatch personally, and Good. I'm like, I don't want to do it without you like i could do it anytime disney plus or the dvds blu-rays whatever i want to do it but i want you to be involved and she's like okay i'll try it we haven't yet we haven't gotten to the full like push play kind of thing but she's like i'm gonna try it because i know you really like this stuff i don't think she's gonna like it (laughs) i can tell her now i'll be lucky if we make it through phase one but like for her, she's gotta make it to Ant Man because obviously Ant Man is the peak. Ant Man's the peak. This was something you said years ago. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I stick with it, bro. Still, we saw Civil War together, and you're still putting Ant Man over there. I'm, I'm not saying Ant Man the movie is the peak. Okay, okay, okay. Character. The character, Ant Man's okay. cinematic character, because the comic character is obviously way darker. Depending on which one we're going with, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, bro, fuck not. It's... All right. Yep. No, you go ahead. Okay, so yeah, pretty much on that Marvel spectrum, I have no idea how the general audience does it. On another perspective of like all the content, like you listed all those streaming services. I don't know. There's a lot of shows and like, this is a really good show. This is a great show. Like, <clears throat> for example, Breaking Bad. 
I've heard really good things about that. Never seen it. Did not watch Breaking Bad? Not, no. What the hell? See, and then this is the reaction you get. <laughs> so... that, that, is, that is the best television show in my lifetime. Okay. Hands down. Okay. Just from a production standpoint, a writing standpoint, an acting standpoint, it doesn't get better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get your shit. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I feel. Anyways, okay. I, feel <laughs> I feel there's a lot of shows out there, obviously, that have these tractions. Um, Game of Thrones was another one. Now, granted, on the finale, I get it. A lot of people didn't like it. I haven't watched it. You didn't. I haven't watched any of it. Okay. See, I was on I the same. I was yeah. on the same boat for a while. Kate and I uh, started dating. She was like, "Hey, this is a thing. I'm really into." I was like, "Sure, I'll give it a try." And the whole time, like, I fell in love with it. And she was having a blast because I'm over there being a dumbass, like, commentating the whole thing. Like, oh, my God, this, 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 this. And she's like, <laughs> obviously, she knows what's happening. So she's getting a kick out of it. Um, but Game of Thrones, I was late to. Breaking Bad, like I mentioned, I haven't watched. There's, like, so many shows out there. Along with the shows, there's so many movies out there I haven't seen. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. You got to kind of pick and choose your battles and say, fuck the rest, man. <laughs> See, as a, a content consumer, yeah. which I literally, I went to school to be able to consume content. Yeah. It almost kills me inside to know that I have to purposely miss things yeah. because there's just not enough time in my life right. to consume all of the content out there. Plus, with all of these separate streaming services now, they're, they're mass producing things. Yeah. And it, it is all about quantity over quality. They're like, I don't care how good this is. We need our streaming service to have stuff to watch. So right. I don't know what it is. Put it out there. Make it watchable. Bada bing, bada boom. And it's it's so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. Million dollar idea, and then we can end it here. <laughs> this part of mine. Take all the streaming services, make one company that gives you access to all of them, <laughs> and rebrand cable. And they won't know, the consumers won't know the difference. Oh. So, like, you basically just recreated cable, yeah. but with street services, and they'll pay top dollar. Right. So, there you go. Anybody who wants a million dollar idea, that's free yeah. right there. That's free brain. Yeah, to keep on this point just for a little longer, I think the way I've been able to <clears throat> make those decisions of like where to cut it, you do the toe in the water, you watch an episode or two. If you feel compelled, like, this is my shit, I'm going to go through it. Then you go. I know it's tough, but <laughs> if you have that time to dip a toe, go for it and then make your decision. <laughs> I think it's impressive that you can dip a toe because if I dip a toe, uh -huh. I'm going full nude swimming. Gotcha. I can't, I cannot just start and stop. Okay. Never have I been able to do that. Even if I start and I'm like, this is trash. Mm. I hate this. Now I need to finish it. Interesting. I just, I cannot, I can't. Is it like, does it make you feel more valid that you didn't waste your time if you finish it kind of thing? I don't know. Okay. I, 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 don't, I think it's a character flaw. Personally. Okay. I'm just like, all right, I know I'm going to hate this. I know I'm going to be miserable, but I have to do it. Okay. I have to finish this. Okay. And, and it's another thing too. So my fiance, she is a passive watcher. Okay. I can never be a passive Oh, like she'll do something else while it's on? So she's like, oh, I'm going to work. Let's put something on in the background. Okay. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, so she'll be like working and she'll put hoarders on and I'm not getting any work done because I'm like, yo, what is this person doing right. in their house? Like I cannot, I cannot be a passive. I just, I'm an active watcher and I can't start and not finish. Mm -hmm. That's just the flaws of the way that I am. Yeah. See, I can do the passive thing if it's like <clears throat> a show I've seen before that yeah. I love, like office how i met your mother like those kind of shows i can just have in the background for noise and enjoy it and same with like streams like if i'm playing a game 90 percent of the time there's a stream so i'm just like this is noise yeah you know just <laughs> and like the game too though like that's another thing we could talk about with the pass of this like if it's a game i know like i'm not super invested in the story or if it's like one of those games where it's like it's either super long or it's grindy or like you don't have to be a hundred percent invested in what you're doing because it's not the most compelling story whatever it is that's when the stuff is on but if it's like holy shit this is god of war and this is amazing no that's all my attention <laughs> so yeah all right give me 
give me 60 seconds. I hear my dog barking. I just want to make sure she's good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Cool. So, yeah, I don't know, chat and viewers. It's fucking nuts. Like, like JC said, there's so many streaming services, and they keep adding more. Like, I feel <clears throat> that we talked about it on a previous episode where there was these list of movies that the New Day had watched from WWE, and they were talking about it like action movies from the 80s, etc. And I was like, I want to watch these. Um, I don't know. Sometimes when you get to it, it's just like, I don't feel really compelled to watch that when you have the time. It's like, I'd rather do, rather play a game, rather watch something else, or sleep. I don't fucking know. So yeah, it, it's interesting <clears throat> how people balance it. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm sure there's good shows out there that I'm just completely missing out on. Like I mentioned Breaking Bad, but like, at some point you gotta call it. Like I, like JC said, there's no way in this lifetime you're gonna have enough time to consume everything. It's 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 nuts that balance of like, is this something I really want to watch or do I want to do something else? It's it's insane. Stupid streaming services. <laughs> so I don't know. Are you? This will probably touch too much on any other podcast. Are you excited for Loki? Yes, I am. Are you? Yes. The reason I'm excited for Loki is because I feel it's going to make more interesting conversations like WandaVision did. Now, WandaVision, I covered all the episodes. I did it in this podcast. Um, and I was doing two per topic because just because it's every other week. Um, yep. I liked the mystery element of it of like, what the? We have no idea what the fuck is going on here. So I feel like Loki will give me more of that while falcon and winter soldier was for the most part more streamlined like point to oh, yeah. point there was a couple things that like agent 13 uh not peggy fucking uh sharon and yep. um the power broker like those were the mysterious elements of like what's going on here along with uh julia dreyfus's character at the end um so yeah i feel julia. Louis thank you <laughs> um <clears throat> so i feel like loki will lead to a little bit more interesting conversations because a obviously the the time travel aspect of it or uh, sorry um dimension thank you dimension travel yeah, yeah. Um, and also like this is a loki that stemmed off of endgame like original loki gone dead good guy ah, it does not stem off endgame this is Loki that stems off the end of the first Avenger. Well, okay, but we saw in Endgame how he took the Tesseract. We saw in Endgame, right? Sorry. But it, character-wise, yeah. This is this. This is, is still Loki. evil Loki, not the yes. good guy we got eventually right. after faking his death, death in Dark World, and then the redemption where right. he got choked out. Yeah. So it's the it's the element of playing with the OG Loki, this new Loki, and like. Okay, where are we going from here? Which I mean, yeah, he's back and not dead officially, but yeah, now we got all this growth we did have not there anymore. <laughs> we can't do with that. <laughs> so, yeah. Here's my problem. Yep. And it's sort of it, this relates. As somebody who can only consume so much content yep. because life, I want content that directly progresses the story. Okay. And since this is technically uh, a branching timeline maybe mm -hmm. it could be different right uh from from all perspectives right now it seems like branching timeline i don't care okay <laughs> so i want i want to move this story along yeah. and and so will i watch it yes mm -hmm. am i excited for it nah. okay i'm excited for white haired owen wilson i think that's crazy <laughs> i think that's cool other than that meh. okay that, that's just kind of where i'm at with it. i'm gonna watch it without a doubt right but Will I be happy about it? No. We'll see. <laughs> okay. So, it might be, it's probably going to be really good. <laughs> so, so I totally agree with what you're saying there. I have two follow-up questions. One's yeah, the maybe. first one's a quick one. The what if series. Do you have any interest in that? Absolutely not. And I'll tell you why the big thing is it's animated. Oh, okay. That's the, yeah, I don't know why that, and this is nothing against animation. I know it's, it's an incredibly like crazy talent to have. And it's something I can never comprehend that makes it less interesting to me um in the marvel in the marvel timeline like i'll still go back on a board and watch SpongeBob. i love cartoons don't get me wrong mm -hmm. but you put it in a marvel timeline 
I am significantly less interested in it because it's animated, okay. and I have no explanation as to why that is. I, I I couldn't. I know it makes no sense. I just I, I actually that one I will not watch most likely. Okay, fair um, enough. Yeah. Okay, and then second question. You mentioned <clears throat> Loki, obviously not progressing the story. I'm gonna possibly. possibly. Right. I'm gonna take the ball and move it over here. <laughs> What kind of ball is this? I don't fucking know. I'm going to take the ball <laughs> move it over here to Black yeah, right, Widow. Over here. Yep. First off, any interest? Oh, boy. You're going to make people hate me, Brett. I, no, okay. no, no, no. Because uh, you're going to hate me after I bring something up. But <laughs> Black Widow 100% should have her own movie 10 movies ago. Yeah. So in, in terms of a storyline and character development, I, she didn't have a ton, but she had enough mm -hmm. that led to her death. Right. That's the end right there. To then bring in a whole prequel movie. I, I don't mind prequels sometimes because they fill in gaps. This isn't a gap that we necessarily even needed to fill in. Um, but she's dead. Right. Her movie should have come probably after Iron Man 2 mm -hmm. to give a little bit of background. Okay, she showed up. Who is she? Right. Oh, shit, she's a badass. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Let's bring her with us. Um, I, mm, mm -hmm. I don't know how to phrase this without... It's just Marvel's like, oh, shit, we need women leads, okay. which is something they should have been doing from the beginning. They're like, oh, we didn't really set up any. Let's take a dead character and give her her own film. Okay. This movie should have happened six movies ago. Am I going to see it? Yes. Will it be good? Probably. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Now, this is where I'm going to kick the door in. Hit me. Hit me. I, kick that door, I, Brad. I totally agree with what you're saying, 100%. Should have been a while ago, whether it was Iron Man 2 or even post-Civil War, because that's when this takes place, apparently. Yeah. My thinking, and I've said this for a while, why the fuck are we making this movie? There ha No, no, no. There has to be a reason. There has to be some element. Now, hear me out. There has to be some I'm element that is progressing the main thing forward. Now, do I know what the fuck that is? No. <laughs> is it we're replacing ScarJo with her sister? Whatever. I don't personally care about it. I'm sure she's a great actress. Don't. I'm sure the performance would be great. Whatever. I don't get that. Why are we just going whoop, and replacing her? I get the whole Black Panther thing. That's a whole separate thing. You know, whatever. But, Outside back. But this yeah. seems odd. Just, whoop, here's a new Black Widow. Okay, so that could be first. Second, is Taskmaster so important to the overarching story that we need to introduce him? Am I happy about that? Yeah, Taskmaster's kind of cool. But that's so weird. Like, it has to, there has to be something that is so damn important in this movie that we we're putting out now, unlike what you said before. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Just <laughs> That was a beautiful, well, not beautiful because she was dead, but that was a good send-off, <laughs> you know? She sacrificed herself. Yeah. Brett, here's the problem <laughs> that I see with what you're saying. Yeah. Is you're clearly a glass half full kind of guy. Okay. <laughs> where I'm a glass half empty kind of guy. And I know Marvel's like, we need more females. <laughs> but they're, they're <laughs> getting that. You have Miss Marvel. You have Monica from WandaVision. You know, we got that. We have Kabbalah Khan coming out in Disney+. Plus. You know. But you're talking TV shows. Uh, well, Monica's going to be in Captain Marvel 2. And then so will well, Kamala. Well, it's the, what is it now? The Marvels or... Yeah, the Marvels uh, or something like that. Whatever. Yeah. Um, but so Black Widow was filmed even before that was a thing. True. So my pessimistic viewpoint is they're like, oh, shit, we have a bunch of white dudes. <laughs> we need more than white dudes. Let's we have like three female characters. Mm -hmm. Let's make a movie. Um, I think this is just what I think from my pessimistic viewpoint. You're going to be very disappointed because they're using Taskmaster as a throwaway villain. <laughs> He's going to be in this movie. He's going to die. He's going to be imprisoned. Who the fuck knows? Mm -hmm. You're never going to see him again. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not going to matter. <laughs> None of this is going to matter at all, except for maybe introducing her sister. Uh -huh. Maybe. Right. Uh, David Harbour. Yeah. 
from Stranger Things, he's gonna die, oh. and I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed because he looks great in those trailers. Yes, yeah. Red Soviet uh, or whatever. So, uh, WandaVision is proof that, and not that there needed to be proof, but you know, all movies and everything is proof of concept because money, yada yada yada. WandaVision is proof that you can have a compelling badass female led storyline without like she she's a badass she was going through real life shit yep. she just has powers right i mean that that was a great story so this is easy but it's something that they've just never really experimented with uh except for you know captain marvel which is a trash movie <laughs> but anyway uh it's i'm i'm so frustrated i'm going to see it it's probably going to be great I think it's going to be inconsequential at best. I think that's what this movie is going to be. I would love to be proven wrong. Mm. I'll come back on this podcast <laughs> after I've seen the movie and be like, Brett, you know what? I was fucking wrong. <laughs> David Harbour still died because he's going to die. And then I'll he's cry. not going to <laughs> Yeah, I'm interested. I'm, I'm definitely interested to pick your brain about it because we had a, I mentioned Civil War earlier when we saw that. We had a very interesting discussion after the movie at your place. So I'm excited to talk more Marvel with you after that I movie. Forgot. Yeah, you, me, Jaden Kolf in LA, we saw Civil War. Yes, sir. I've actually, my opinions have changed significantly since then. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and just so like at that time, mm -hmm. I was really hating on Bucky. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I'm glad Iron Man blasted his, spoilers, blasted his fucking arm off. Yeah. Because fuck that guy, he killed his parents. Mm -hmm. Um, I've warmed up. I've warmed up. I understand it was brainwashed, but yeah man cool all right everybody mark it in your calendars after black widow we're gonna recap i will text you when i see it and we'll figure out uh, and we might have to wait like you know six more years but yeah I'll definitely... <laughs> yeah awesome